Hi everyone, Eileen here. It's Sunday, so it's time for another Lavinia Stamps video tutorial from me to you. I'm using a few stamps that were released during October and they are so pretty, a little bit quirky as well. Um, the main one that I'm using, <clears throat> excuse me, is called uh, Jip. And then I've got uh, these ornamental uh, type stamps at the bottom. And this is from a set called Starlight, I think it's called. I have it here somewhere. Yep, the Starlight set. And you'll get two stamps. I've got this one and this one. Slightly different. This one's larger and it's got a curly tail. Smaller with a straight tail. But they will be so useful using for the main feature, as I've used here, or in the background. And whichever way, upside down, straight across, going across. I have fabulous. They're going to be so versatile. Right. The other thing I'm using is uh, the words with love from Heartfelt Verses and the tall leaf mask. Yeah, the tall leaf mask here that you see in the background as well from Lavinia Stamps Masks and Stencils. Right, let's go. I've taken a piece of multifarious cardstock in white. I've folded it and I've cut it to nine centimetres in width. Got a bit of ink on that, so I'll turn it over. Nine centimetres in width by 18 centimetres in length. Pop a piece of copy paper in the middle to protect it as it's a one layer card. And I've got my tall leaf mask. I was going to pop that down sort of diagonally across the card. And I'm using a small piece of Sweet Poppy stencils, <clears throat> excuse me, stencil tape to hold it. Stop it moving about too much. Bundled sage and a Sweet Poppy stencils large makeup brush. The ink pads aren't that juicy. Didn't want them to be too wet, so they're not re-inked. And then holding the stencil brush on its side because I want to keep it into the stencil area, the image area. Like so that's the green. Now pink for Victorian velvet. Again, quite a dry ink pad, but it does the business. Just apply a bit of pressure onto the stencil brush. Again, tipping it onto one side. Don't let your stencil move though. So I'm holding it firmly this side and the tape is the other side. So I'm putting a fair bit of ink on and that gives me a nice crisp image. Not of the whole uh, mask, that doesn't matter. I'm only looking for something for the background. That is pretty and attractive and I think this is. Um, now on to the stamping. So first off it's Jip and that's the branches for the background and this is really good. This is going to be again a really versatile stamp. You can use this in all sorts of different ways. First fine onyx black you can use first fine nocturne no problem. Just I'm removing the surface ink from my block and from around the stamp. Over we go. I've got a stamp mat underneath my work here, sponge stamp mat. You can use um, a stamp press if you wish, no problem. About an inch up from the bottom and just right close to the right hand side. And then down, press, not too heavily. Don't want to splay the stamp because it will smudge your image and up and there we are beautiful next it's these two beauties and this is from the starlight set there's a large one i'm starting with that one first again first fine onyx black 
and I'm going to pop this at the bottom with this stem, the curly stem down the bottom and try and join it up with the stem of one of the branches from the original stamp. Press and then up. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they're so, I just love these. I think they're beautiful. <laughs> really different. You could use them as ornaments. You can use them as flowers. I mean, they're just fabulous. <laughs> right, the smaller image to match. And this has got a straighter stem. It seems okay. And, oh, now I'm going to take off. I noticed I didn't use the whole stem in this. I'm going to take off quite a bit of the ink from this stamp. Now I'm using a damp cloth because I don't want any shadow of ink coming out. want it to be nice and clean and this is going up sort of in the middle-ish pressing firmly down yes that's good and then using the same stamp again inking up but not going all the way down the stem and coming out from the bottom and then at an angle over to the right hand side like so yep that's good now what i have got is part of the stem of the twig there going right the way through one of those images so can i rub that out no i think i would smudge the ink so i'm going to cheat because i really don't want to redo the card so I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to use some white ink. Look, I know that's there. You know it's there, but you didn't see it, did you? And uh, consequently, um, between you and I, no one else will know it's there, all right? It's our secret. Okay. Right. So sorted. Now I need to ground these flowers and to tidy up the bottom bit, it's a bit iffy. So I'm using a couple of pencils, polychromous colouring pencils, you can use any ones that you have. I've got a very pale grey called cold grey and then I've got a darker grey for a little bit of shadow. So just popping the card round on its side. Starting off with the cold grey just going along and down got a bit of ink there which I do not need so I'm going to rub that out that's from where I stamped the stem and I had it of the original um, starlight set stamp and I didn't clean the stamp properly all the stem I didn't clean all the ink off and then I'm going to add in a little bit more of the darker grey and that's coming out like so I see that that went quite a way along so I sort of made the pencils a feature and then let's bring it down there get the rubber out to remove any you don't like And to help blend it. Well, that's about it, really. Yeah, that's not too bad. So it gives it some ground to stand on. Then, using a black pen, I also want to replicate these little quirky dots in this starlight set image so that it mirrors. It would help if the pen worked. <laughs> so it mirrors part of the image and brings it down as another feature. Don't overdo it though. And then going up a little bit. Like 
think I'm going to have to buy myself another black pen. <laughs> That's better. So it just gives it another bit of interest, really. And finally, let's move that out because that looks awful. Finally, enamel accents. You don't shake these, all different colours I've got. Don't shake them up. They don't like it. Makes all the bubbles, air bubbles. So just going to start them off, hopefully. I think I could do with some new ones of these. I'm just getting a pin to unblock it. Mm, definitely need some new ones in these. Right. So being careful of that blob of yellow there, I'm um, just going to pop a few of these on. It's rather larger than I was hoping for, but not to worry. That's better. Into the smaller ones now. I will get rid of that larger one. It's easily done. I think you waste more than you actually put on your card when you sort of try and control the size of the drips that you're looking for. Ah. Oh, well, I will go with that. Right, enough of the yellow. Let's go for blue. Oh, now that's better. There's more ink, more of the um, medium in this, the um, enamel accent. It's like a glossy accent, only it's opaque and obviously highly coloured. So let's try this. Hence it's called enamel, because that's what it looks like. Right. You are really aiming for tiny blobs, so it's just a straight down and up. I, I mean, this is a delicate stamp. I really didn't want large mountains of um, dots on it, although it doesn't look too bad, I must say. So that's blue. Then I've got a deep pink. Shall I put them all on? Yes, why not? Go mad. Again, this is flowing. It seems that it's only the yellow one maybe I'll need to replace. Oh, yeah, look, that's good. Once you get into the rhythm, <laughs> you're fine. Okay, now finally, it's the pink one, the pale pink one, rather. Okay, so I've got I've got about three that the large sort of large blobby things. Um, I don't dislike them, so I'm going to leave it and just call it my new magical feature. But try and aim for the smaller ones if you can. <laughs> right, with love is next, and then I'm finished. So I have With Love from the Heartfelt Verses. Well, I did have it. As I picked it up, it's just flown off onto the floor somewhere. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's a ways away with these stamps, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm sure that they're, they've got these little demons inside them. They either hide from you or they float off somewhere and you can't find them for looking. Okay, With Love on the block again first fine onyx black gentle tapping because it's a delicate stamp doesn't want you to go push too much ink into it and then hopefully 
where did I put it? Oh, yes, I see. Hopefully, without touching any of the enamel accents, I can get this on straight, like so. Press down and up. Well, I did. I'm surprised that I did that, actually, because I was very close to that yellow enamel accent blob there. <laughs> oh, dear. I enjoyed making that, though. That was fun. Okie dokie. Let me show you properly. So there's the card that I've just made. There's the original. The original is a lot paler. I have to say, I prefer the one that I've just made. It's much more startling. It's more colourful. Overall, 10 out of 10 there. Okay, thanks for being with me today. I look forward to seeing you next weekend. And I'll be back with two more Lavinia Stamps video tutorial tu tutorials. <laughs> from me to you. Have a super week, everyone. Thanks ever so much for looking. Bye.